Meghan McCain of The View is going to ask Bernie Sanders essentially to tone police the squad. So Justin uh, Baragona says, Meghan McCain, you're the godfather of the squad. How can you stand by Tlaib and Omar saying Israel doesn't have a right to exist? Did they ever say that Israel doesn't have a right to exist? Like, is that a, does she think that's a verbatim quote? Bernie Sanders, I don't believe that's what they're saying. And second of all, uh, it's not my job to have to defend every member of Congress. The fact that she's like trying to pretend as if Bernie Sanders is the manager of the squad is is so on brand for Meghan McCain. Uh, nonetheless, let's watch this. Just to stand up to the NRA and do what the American people want in terms of this terrible tragedy. Senator Sanders, um, you are the godfather of the squad. You were hyper-progressive socialist, and you're talking about social justice before it was cool. But it feels like the squad today has moved even to the left of you. How is it for you to stand by everything AOC, Rashida Tlaib, and Ilhan Omar have said and done, particularly when it comes to Israel, and talking about from the river to the sea and the extermination of Israel as a right to exist? Or do you think the movement which you started, has moved away from what you envisioned. Well, Megan, first of all, I don't believe that's what they're saying. And second of all, it's not my job to have to defend every member of Congress any more than it is uh, their job to defend every statement that I make. What I am focusing on right now is the reality that for the last many, many decades, the very rich in America have become much richer, while working people are struggling. Real wages have not gone up in 48 years. I love how he just like whatever the question is. He just sidesteps it and goes on to his usual spiel. I love it. And what I'm working on right now is a budget which says to the wealthiest people in this country, you know what? Even if you're a multi-billionaire with incredible power, you're going to have to start paying your taxes. Large profitable corporations will start paying their taxes so that we can, in fact, rebuild our infrastructure, create good paying jobs, make sure that families can afford child care, expand Medicare so that elderly people can have teeth in their mouths, be able to hear and have eyeglasses that they can afford. That's what I am focusing on right now. Uh, I think the folks in the, the progressives in the House are doing a very good job in standing up for working families. It's not my job to comment on everything that any member of the House says. Any more it is for them to comment on what I say. Okay. Our thanks to Senator Bernie Sanders for always. Whenever Bernie talks about health care or talks about like expanding Medicare to cover um, vision, dental and hearing, I always like envision him doing his pointing, covering dental, hearing and vision. And I think that it, maybe it was Nina Turner who shared the panels of him like doing all of that. Like it, it's it's such a cute thing that he does. Um but I, I want to go back to her, her framing of the question here because this is such a bad faith interpretation of the squad stance that if somebody was um, as charitable to her as she's being to the squad, I mean, she she would probably be uh, furious. Let, let's listen again. But it feels like the squad today has moved even to the left of you. How is it for you to stand how. by everything AOC, Rashida Tlaib, and Ilhan Omar have said and done, particularly when it comes to Israel and talking about from the river to the sea and the extermination of Israel as a right to exist? Or okay, the extermination of Israel having the right to exist. Like, they've never used the words extermination. They've never said Israel doesn't have the right to exist. They haven't even implied that that's the case. Uh, so if we're going to be that charitable to her, then we can say she supports the extermination of Palestinians and that Palestinian people, they don't have the right to exist in their homes. They don't have the right to have their own state. She doesn't support a two-state solution even. She's that much of an extremist. She's a fascist because she supports an ethno state. If she really wants to be that bad faith, we can get that bad faith. If we apply her analysis uh, or like the level of analysis, how disingenuous she's being to the squad, if we apply her like logic to her own argument, it, it can be worse you know so it, for her to even characterize their arguments like that it shows that like this is not a serious person this is not a serious person oh they, they want to exterminate israel that's you saying that you said that they want to exterminate israel uh they said they would like to end apartheid she's such a an insufferable hack like i, I can't stand megan mccain
My father, 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 my father